Welcome back everyone, it's Kirok here. Welcome back to a brand new series. Yep, as you can see on the screen guys, I'm going to be playing Gone Home. Uh, Gone Home is a game where... Okay, let's put it this way. Everywhere I've read, I've never played it, I don't know the full game, I don't know exactly what's going on. But everywhere I've read reviews and people who have talked about it, they all say it's an amazing game. And I want to play an amazing game. Uh, the developer that put this game out is called Fulbright. I want to, you know, take a moment to sh uh, send a shout out to them. Thank them very much for allowing me to bring this game to you. For allowing me to play it and share it. Share the whole experience with you guys. Um, the game came out about, uh, what is it, a year and a bit ago? August 2013? Yeah, about that time. And um, it, it, the premise is you you play as a character in a family household and you've been away for about a year. Uh, you come back and you don't find what you quite expect. And so there are puzzles and things that you got to kind of figure out and solve what's happened. So without further ado, let's get into it, guys. Um, and we'll see what the game holds in store for us. Uh, okay, yeah, so walk around, look around using the mouse, cool. Woohoo, cassette tape, awesome. <laughs> uh, I think the uh, premise of the game and the whole story is in 1995. So keep that in mind. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Gone like, home. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. <laughs> okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. So, that's me. I guess I'm a woman. Rook's been calling me one for all this, all the time now, you know? <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, okay. Gone home. Yes. Let's, let's play. Let's play. Come on. June 7, 1995. 1.15 a.m. There we go. There we go. In the middle of the summer... Ooh, man. Okay, hold on. Options. Sound. Okay, let's do that. It's raining. Oh, it's beautiful. So what does this say? Caitlin Greenbrier, Portland. Flight 270, June 6, 1995. Wow, that is freaking loud. Okay, sorry guys. Options, sound, voice volume, sound effects. Wow. That's weird. I guess it has a little bit of a glitch because now at that level it's still the same. So that's fine. Uh, back, resume. Cool. Oh, you can hear my footsteps. Oh, open door. Nice. Click. They look like Christmas decorations. Take house key. Oh, must have been a hidden spot for the house key. That's awesome. Turn on lamp. Press 1 or I to check contents of my backpack. Oh, yuck. <laughs> That's me. Uh, it's my passport. I got it to go on my Europe trip. Okay, so she went on, uh, on a trip to Europe. Uh, spare key that was hidden under the old Christmas duck. <laughs> AMS boarding pass. Amsterdam. Gate 72B, 16F. That's the seat number. Flight number was 270. That's interesting. Didn't this here say 260? Nope, 270. Oh, a little sensitive. Uh, I, I could have done that anywhere. I didn't have to go back. There's my passport. Okay. Journals. Oh, okay, cool. I can I can press that one. Look, I don't have any map. I'm on the front porch. Items. All right, let's. Whoa, let's play around. Okay, if the mouse is a little too sensitive, I will probably adjust that. Grab cup. Press right shift or mouse. Uh, right. Sorry. Press right mouse or left shift to examine the held object. Left shift. Okay. Can I put it back? Yes. Cool. So I'm going to explore and look at a bunch of things. Can I take that? Yes. <laughs> Christmas duck. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let's put it back. 
so obviously this is all my stuff and I just got home um, this must have been the door yeah because when I get closer to it I can hear the, the the rain outside so this is my main door there's a letter here hold right mouse oh it's a shift or left shift whoa whoa, whoa. I wasn't supposed to crouch there we go okay Katie I'm sorry I can't be there to see you <clears throat> but it is impossible. Please, please don't do don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone. What does it say? Mom and dad. <laughs> she changed it to anyone to know. Uh, we'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. Okay. Who is Sam? I don't know. Let's go inside. Hello? Anybody? Hello? Ooh, file folder. Read invoice. Wellspring Movers. Oh, there was a moving company? That's their address. That's their phone number. Go ahead and call this if you guys feel like. Terrence Greenbrier. Terrence Greenbrier. Destination. Kitchen. Boxes. Master bedroom. Boxes. Child bedroom. Boxes overweight library boxes of 24 inch television 14 inch television how many what oh so these guys charge this guy 2750 2750 dollars to move all this stuff dear Katie so much has changed even just since you've been away we moved into this house I'm in a new school and my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier it doesn't feel real, but I'm not going to let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal, just like I was talking to you. Okay. Journals. So I can replay this again by clicking here. Okay, cool. Oops, easy. Uh, let's turn on the lamp. Man, I don't like the sound of that. Uh, let's read this note. Directions to work from new home. So there's a little map. Left on grab tree. Right on bullhorn. Exit on 47 north. 202 east. Entrance right past wage road. This says flintlock. Travel time 1 hour 10 minutes. Okay. So I'm in the main foyer. I'm going to examine everything in here. Open drawer. Close drawer. Grab pencil. Sure, let's take it. Oh, there's a marker. Grab the marker. I guess I'm going to end up having to inspect items. Put it back. No, can't put it back. There we go. Put it back. Read itinerary. June 1st, 1994. Katie's departure. June 6, 94. Flight. That was the last year. So I already come back. Flight 881. 12, 10 a.m. to Amsterdam. So there's Cincinnati. Amsterdam. What was that? Oh, okay. All right. Play message. Read note. Let's read the note. Sam, <clears throat> Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come and he wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Are we in the new house? Mom, Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is that he had a Nintendo when we were little. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, now the truth comes out. Granted, I'd probably hang out with a friend with a Nintendo if I was a kid. Grab phone. Uh huh. Can't do anything with it. Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam. Katie, that's me in the middle, I think. Mom in the back, dad on the right, are you? and the one over here. Really? 
Okay. Jen and Terry. So someone on the phone is trying to get a hold of Sam. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. That's me. back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Yeah. Bye. That was me calling in, leaving a message. That's it. The machine reset. There were three messages. One was... One was normal in nature, the other one was worry, and then there was me. Ooh, scared. Should I go down that way? Or should I go up the stairs? Can I run? No, I can zoom. That's cool. Okay, I'm not going to go through that door yet. I thought I could run. Close it. What we'll do is we will inspect the other side of the room here, and then we'll choose which direction we want to go in. Pick up one of my trophies. Regional track and field finals, April 21st, 1990, girls 100 meter relay. First place. Nice. So it looks like there were a few people that, uh... Hecho in Mexico. Made in Mexico? Yuck. My old track trophy. Regional track and field finals, 91 girls long jump event. First place. None of these books. Nope. Nope. This one. Holy Bible. Can I open it? No? Can't open it. Hmm. So I'm just doing a thorough inspection. Can I turn this on? Yes. Anything here? No. Here? No. Here? No. Letter. <coughs> Dear Jan, It's so good to hear from you again. All this new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Remember the little down down room we shared I think that's down uh, freshman year dorm dorm room we shared freshman year uh, when we were miserable <laughs> forgive me if I read this wrong fantasizing about our dream homes fantasizing <laughs> when we were miserable fantasizing about our dream homes I always said I wanted a mansion you said you just wanted a house in the woods Look who got both. <laughs> oh, so we're in the woods. Somebody up there likes you. I could use some of that magic. Send me some lotto numbers. I'll play them. Seriously. Um, but I shouldn't be complaining about this good old split level where uh, we've had since Bob got transferred to Winnipeg. That's in Canada. Um, we just got a new vinyl. We just got new vinyl siding. Jealous yet? Let me know if you if you ever want to trade places. So how are the girls doing? Has Katie left on her big European adventure yet? Speaking of jealous, that that's me. I'm back from it. Uh, right back soon. I miss you, Rumi, Carol. Okay, so who is Jen? I'm going to do this. Hold on. Put that back. I wish I could run, run. Can I run? I can't run. Jen is mom. That's Jen. So Carol's friend just wrote to her. Oh, I keep pressing that button thinking I can I can run. Okay, close close. Nothing. Oh, sorry. No, can't do anything with that stuff. Alrighty, so I think we've inspected everything on this side. Where should we go? Should we go up the stairs? I'm gonna leave. That freaked the crap out of me. I'm going to leave everything as it is. Uh, I bet this is a washroom, so let's go check out the washroom first. Um. Shouldn't there be a mirror right there? 
Yeah. Just, can I turn that on? Nope. Sparkle, hand soap, green apple. Okay, this washroom's missing a mirror. Here we go. Toilet paper. Soft plus four rolls. <laughs> now thicker. That's good stuff. Examine magazine. Stephen King. It's an author magazine. Get published the secret. Okay, that's pretty cool. Can I, oh, wait, 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 wait. Can I turn it in any way? No? No, nope, can't do anything. Uh, what do we got here? Cleansing powder. Okay. Oh, no, I don't want to drop it. I want to put it back. There we go. Whoops. Peel here. Same stuff. Okay, fine. Drop. Quick fix. <laughs> 100 bandages. More bandages. Actual roll of toilet paper. Oh, no, it's fine. I was going to go put some there if it needed it. Okay, uh, wait, wait, wait. We haven't checked the top. Oh, can't do anything with that stuff. Whoa, sorry. Whoops, sorry, guys. <laughs> All right. Um, as a rule, I'm going to leave the lights on everywhere I go. <laughs> I don't want something freaking me out, creepy crawling out of the dark. So let's head over this way, since we opened that door earlier, and then we'll inspect. You know what? No, no, no. Judging by the layout of the house, that's a small room, which is a washroom. Therefore, this should be a small room here. So let's go here. Yeah, closet. I was right. What does that say? Front hall. What does that say? Grab board game. What's it called? Over... The Alps? Over the Alps. A novel traveling game for two to six players. Interesting. Put it back. Oh, light. Here we go. Can I can I look at that? Can't get any closer. Janice Greenbar. That's Jan. That's my mom. Is that where she works? Yes, it is. All right, let's go. You watch. I'm probably going to miss something that's super crucial and important. Can I move this painting? No, it doesn't look like it. All right, let's go. Lights. Is anybody home? Hello? Press 2 or M to check your location in the house. Aha. Okay, so I've examined all these areas. That's where I am now. Is that me? Pretty. Pack of cards. Is that my... I was thinking that was somebody walking by me or something. I would have freaked out. Obituary. Oscar Doc Mason. Mason. Mason Mason. 60. Died peacefully last month in his home. 1930, 1933, obtained his degree in pharmacy at a young age, okay. So, I wonder who this is. First Methodist Church at 1 p.m. Yeah, I don't know if this is someone related or not. The, it's definitely not the person in the painting here, right? No, his name is Terry. Dad. Grab photo, we did that already. Let's close. Can I grab anything underneath? Nope. We'll leave that open, that way we know we've been in there. Let's go in this room. I hear voices coming from it. Nope. It's not coming from this room. Read notes. Welcome. 
Welcome, new student. We hope that you are excited about your are, are as excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School as we are. Please be sure to bring the following with you on your first day of class so that you can get right into the swing of things. One sturdy folder with pockets for each of your six class periods. One lined notebook per period, so it's six notebooks, um, or one large notebook with six divided sections, okay? At least six pens, oh my god, blue or black ink, and six pencils. How many sixes are in this damn note? Six, 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 six. One box of colored pencils, a strand combination lock for your assigned locker. Oh, sorry, a standard. Missed that. Uh, a nutritious lunch for $2.50 for a lunch provided by the school cafeteria. So you could bring a nutritious lunch or buy a positive attitude. Remember to get plenty of sleep the night before and be ready for the first bell to ring at 8 a.m. See you soon and again, welcome. Beth v Valence, Principal. I don't like that. See, look, we got six. That's one, two, three, four. It's four times the word six appears in there. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. The Psycho House right. Girl. First day of school added to, play to backpack. Let's check that out real quick. Journals. Yeah, right there. Okay, so obviously the voice I was hearing is that television over there. I'm uh, I'm going to end the episode at this point, guys. And uh, when we return, we'll continue by inspecting this room and see what it holds in store for us. I hope you guys enjoyed this so far. It's It's got a kind of eerie, creepy atmosphere. Uh, yet at the same time, it's got that explorative... Uh, wonder where you kind of have to look and figure things out and piece things together. I'm enjoying it so far, so I hope you guys join me for the next one. Bye for now. Damn, stop leaving every damn light in the house on. Oops. Well, if that's the case, then you're going to have to blame me too. There we go. Caitlin, yes, me. Uh, you're as bad as your sister. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's freaking hilarious. Oh, Daniel called again. He wants his Nintendo game back. Oh, she never gave it back? Daniel.